This is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf. Uh, if you've been watching the blogs a little bit, you've been seeing that the ferry ring has gone crazy. Uh, what we're going to show you now is just a little uh, trip out in the field to look at some uh, superficial fairy ring, which is called the uh, lectophilic fairy ring. It just grows up in the surface uh, of the thatch layer, just above the soil, mostly maybe a little bit into the thatch, and doesn't necessarily cause a hydrophobic condition underneath the soil, but during the decomposition of that organic matter, the old leaves in the, in the thatch layer, the upper thatch layer, uh, releases nitrogen, it makes it a little bit greener, and it causes a little bit of a depression, so you, get, you lose some of the uniformity that you're looking for. Uh, so I'm just going to show you uh, how that looks in the field, and then we'll bring some samples back and take a look at them here in the lab. So here's the little bit of the depression. You can see where the arrow is pointing to a little bit of uh, an uneven area in the turf, and you see a little half of a ring. And if you come in and pull the turf back, you'll see there's a substantial amount of white cottony uh, mycelium of the fairy ring fungi, and it's only in that little ring. You can see just outside that area, there's uh, not much going on, but right in that ring, there's a huge, uh, dense uh, layer of fairy ring that's decomposing the organic matter, just like it normally would in uh, nature. So we can uh, reach in here and we'll take a little sample of this stuff back just to incubate a little bit more in the lab and then we'll look to see if we can find any of those uh, typical structures of uh, fairy ring fungi, the, uh, the clamp connections. Well, you saw me pull that piece of turf off in the field, that little piece I ripped out. We brought it back to the lab and put it into a moist chamber like we do uh, frequently and that allows us to develop a little bit more hyphae on the tissue. So here you can see clearly that we've got a lot of mycelium growing on the tissues and we'll take a little bit of that off and put it under the compound scope and take another look at uh, the situation see if we can find those clamp connections that we know we're going to be looking for in fairy ring situations. So let's take a look at that. So I just like to pick a very clean sample off of the mycelium if you can. So just pick a little piece of tissue with some mycelium on it and transfer that to a microscope slide with some water. And in this case, um, I'm going to try to take that piece of leaf tissue out of there because the hyphae of uh, these fairy ring fungi tend to be very thin and sometimes they're hard to uh, work with. And if we can get the cover slip flatter onto the sample, we get a better image uh, and a flatter uh, piece of sample. So I'm just going to tease off that uh, hyphae and then I'm going to uh, put a cover slip uh, on top of this and then transfer that uh, to the compound microscope and here's what we see. Really nice clear clamp connection. This, uh, this particular fungus produced a lot of them so you'll see just about every uh, septum on the sample had a, set, had a clamp connection. Well in addition to that sample that we saw from the bent grass that we're just looking at where it was a surrounds and tall bent grass that had some thatch layer that was able to be colonized by the fungus and cause a little bit of a depression where the fungus decomposed some of that organic matter. We also had a sample come in from a sports field uh, that was fairly interesting and the sample incubated for 48 hours and this is the kind of outlook that we had with that sample and you can see the uh, dense growth of the fairy ring fungus up on the top and it, it has the same uh, type of mycelium with the clamp connections that we saw in all the other fairy ring fungi and if you if you smell these fungi you can get a sweet sort of a smell uh, sort of a fungus um, mushroom kind of a smell but that's a nice uh, look at a fairy ring uh, from a ryegrass overseeded Bermuda field. For Pace Turf members take a look at the information associated with this video for management recommendations.